Oh, no, no, no. Hey, Abby. She can't hear me, so the headphones. Where's okay. She? Oh. So <laughs> there she is. is. Hey, Abby, come Abby, here. Come here, come here. Come over here. Wave in the camera. Wave. Say hi. There you are. <laughs> there she is. Okay. So. Abigail. This is. Oh, and you found the cookies. This is Bob. And this is Mike. Hello. And, and I like to say that they're my two husbands. They're married to each other and me. <laughs> they live in the back house. And she has the best of both worlds. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we were all parents together at the local elementary school. Yes. And they have two adopted sons who are now launched and doing fabulous. Yes. And I've known and them forever. We have a wonderful situation. Yes. He fixes all my broken things in my house and we drink wine together. That's how it goes. We do the drinking. He does the fixing. <laughs> I, and I drink a little. Yes. You well, know. you do drink, but not while you're fixing. No, no, no. no. That would be never, bad. never, never. Okay, no, so no, we're going to talk about Abby now because yes. Bob and Mike have been actually us. living yes. um, right behind us since uh, Abby was 18 years old. Yes. Uh, and so. Going on almost seven years. Yeah. Let's ask Bob first if you want to sit down because it might be hard to scrunch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, but let's start with Bob and see what Bob's take is because we were talking about Abby's growth. Since since the age of 18. Here's Bob. <laughs> and what I want to do is find out your observations of Abby. Mm -hmm. Since you moved in, uh, Abby was around, what, 18? Now she's 25. Mm -hmm. Yes. So 18, when we first moved in, Abby was more of... Uh, that. That 19? Grossed in her own world. Mm -hmm. She was, you know, very much into the trampoline and her headphones and her music and yes. you know you yes. could walk out to the backyard and she basically wouldn't even you know recognize you or act like she even mm. you know knew you were there because she was but you all said something like it's almost like she didn't see you she almost like yeah Did almost like that? couldn't see you or didn't yeah, see you because she was so wrapped up in her own world. That's all we can do. um and the difference between you know that time and today is we have a young lady that comes over we have Glass of wine. Who's the young lady? Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> That's me. Who is the That's young you, lady? Girl. Yeah, Who is the young woman that comes over and visits me? Me. Yeah. Well, is it okay yeah. if Bob talks and tells about how mm -hmm. much he's seen you grow since 18? Mm -hmm. I think it's important to help others, Abby, understand if you keep doing your work and interventions and all that stuff to get your brain to work, look what's yeah. happened. Well, it's a journey. You're just like a rock it's star. A, it's, it's been a, a very long journey yeah. and she's mm -hmm. done an amazing amount of work. Yeah. And she's a completely so different person than she was six, seven years ago. Yeah. Um, it's just, you know, now I walk in the backyard and come home from a trip and she runs over and says, gives me a hug and says how much she missed me. Oh, where before. She doesn't do that for me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well. It's just so heartwarming that, that, you know, the, the change, the change in the last few right. years. Is and when we say change, dramatic. we don't talk about change as in changing who Abby is as a person. We oh, talk about change as in getting her brain to access executive function with language, no. social cues, and connection. Wouldn't no. you say that's right, Mike? That's right. Ah, absolutely. I mean, the, is this the, big the meatballs? Core? Is it soft spicy? As I was saying, you can try some. Poor Abby is it's still not there. spicy, sweet. Yeah, the poor Abby is still there. Her gentleness, her sweetness, fresh, fresh view of life, and her her unfiltered, beautifully, you know, phrases. Yeah. I mean, she's just an amazing, amazing young woman, and that's never going to change. I hope. I hope that yeah. doesn't change. That's the I poor Abby is spicy. still there. A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but Glee I say there. gleeful, exuberant, yeah. happy, happy, love, love yeah. life. But she has indeed grown immensely when it comes to like socialization yeah she definitely she will she maintain eye contact and she will maintain a conversation right and oh she, she will manage the conversation <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. oh yeah this is mike this okay. is my other husband Hi. my Hello. fix it man it's me he's good with drills and power <laughs> tools power tools yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike is the community teacher for everybody. He's one of the most amazing, generous, and kind retired men. Oh. We're also lucky to have him because you're everyone's teacher, including mine. So I just want to thank you for that. But number two is the level of patience that you have, especially for somebody like Abby, has blown me away. And so you're right. So Mike asks Abby to do things and asks her to participate and, hey, oh, yeah. help me do this and help me do that. Oh, yeah. And, and, and then, almost 
always, in the beginning, almost always, she would say, no, I, I'm not interested. I can't do that. And she'll start to walk away. And I will bring her back in because I know she can do things. Yes. And I will help her do like little steps. And she's got, she helped me fix the brakes on the little red car. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you even knew that. <laughs> uh, yeah. She's amazing. Okay. She can do so. Wow. And you don't think she can, but she can. No, I do think do, she can. I, I do her. think that's just like, and, I couldn't yeah. do that. But what it is, is that Mike has an incredibly patient mm -hmm. side to him. So mm -hmm. it's really broken down into steps. He's very clear, and we do that for Abby all the time: is write things in steps. Oh, yeah. And I think you've been ha you've been a teacher in that regard. You're very practical, sort of thinking do's and don'ts. We do this, we don't do that. But I will say at first, I think Mike was a little bit like eager to please Abby in her autism. So you you did a oh, lot yeah, of yeah. guessing. Yeah, I did. Like whatever Abby wanted, Mike gave in. I Mike did caved. Tend to want to be her friend. Right. Initially, you didn't and, have as and many then boundaries. it kind of sunk in. Oh wait, I'm like forty x years older than her, and I'm not really her friend. I should be more of a mentor and a parent like figure and stuff like that. And so you know, I, once once that epiphany kicked in, yeah. yeah. What I love was as Bob would tell me and say, "Mike's a softie. He's giving her the chocolate." I did. It was you were the culprit, but I love that. So we stopped doing that, but now I think it's real reciprocal language. Who's ever home? Who's ever around? You know, she loves visiting you guys. It makes her feel engaged. It makes her feel yeah. like it makes her feel like she has her own social life separate from me. That is so yes, important. That's so huge. I would yeah. say to people, if you have a neighbor or a friend or a relative that's either willing to take your loved one or go off and do something without the parent. If you don't have it, you can build it because I, we sort of build it. Here she is. Come I was on. singing Little Mermaid. I know. Come jump in. Oh, good. Yeah. Do you have, how about if you sit down and I get up? Oh, okay. We're All right, talking come on. to the camera. Sit, sit, We're talking to everybody on YouTube. About this is my Abby. How Hi. How is important is Mike? What has Mike taught you? Oh. How far I've come. Yes. But anything specific? In no. Like when, when we built your mom's dresser in her bedroom, remember? We did. Oh. Oh, yeah, I remember. remember. Oh, I remember too. Didn't remember you put the nails in the back with a hammer, remember? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, guess what, Bob? I was singing the remake of Little Mermaid in oh, there. Oh, you okay, the Halle Bailey one. Okay. I and hear... I got to go to that premiere. Oh, you yeah. did. I got to go to the premiere and I got to see her in person. Yes. Was that it that loud, loud there? That was fantastic. <laughs> that was so cool. I say keep the growth opportunities coming. These guys have been instrumental. Oh. I've been blessed to have them so close and being willing to take on Abby and be there, be her stepdads, really. Oh, we, we've benefited. We're not married, by the way. I know you might think, like, you know, I can sway anyone, but you know what? We are um, in, in spirit. <laughs> Bob is laughing. We're spirit animals for each other. We're spirit animals. This um, is my chosen family. I did want to so. say that, like, like, one of the things that I think is super important for raising any child, I mean, not Abby, just any, any child, is, is the concept of a village. Yes. That that it's not just the parents or parent if it's a single parent. I mean it's it's the neighbors, it's the friends, it's the chosen family. Yeah. And and that village brings in the social aspects. 